show come in. This is Antique Demonstrations, and I'm your host, Hammer Time Rods. I've been buying and selling antiques for over 50 years, so I know a lot of things because I've seen a lot of things. I'm going to take you back to the 1800s and early 1900s where farmers' lives were made so much easier with the new inventions in those days. I bet you've never seen one of these before. Automatic pencil sharpener. Nothing like you've ever seen probably. You may have, but you're probably my age. Uh, I bought this on Lime about 10 years ago and I paid $125 for it. I put it in my office at work and I sharpened my pencils with it. And when people in the business saw it, they come in there right and left and I don't see that pencil sharpener. Show me how that thing works. It's just amazing. It's a crowd drawer if you got one. If you, if you got one or if you buy you one, take it to work with you and put it on your desk. People will love it. But anyway, here's the way it works. First of all, it's dated 1905, right here as you probably just saw. And it's made in the United States, it's called Automatic Pencil Sharpener. Now, the way this thing worked is amazing. You, you turn it and you see those blades will cut and sharpen it. And I'm gonna show you how in just a second, but here's the amazing part. The tip of this blade is dull. And if you see it comes around and it turns the pencil a little bit Coming around, turns it a little bit, and then it'll cut it, turns it, and then cuts it, turns it, and then cuts it. Now, I'm going to put the pencil in here and show you exactly how this works. I'm going to bring it over here to the side where I can hold it. Now, can you... Check that out. That not awful? People loved watching this thing work. Now here's what happens when you get it sharpened. You pull it out, you pour out all your dust, bam. Put it back in there and you're waiting on the next person in the building to come say, I wanna see your pencil sharpener. This thing really draws a crowd, it's so awesome. Coolest thing, and it was re it's really early. Like I say, 1900, wait a minute, I'll tell you. No, 1908, that's when it was. But I just love that little thing, it's got a solid, uh, oak base. I would say that I paid $125 for it 10 years ago. I wouldn't take a dime less than 150 for it. It'd probably bring more than that. What we have here is another one of my faves. About all the things I have is some of my faves. But uh, this is a cast iron pot. And what's amazing about it is it's one pour. The legs, everything is one pour. If you look at the bottom of this thing, those legs was, the, the form was built all in one and when they poured the pot, it went right down into the legs and everything, which is a rarity because to find, because they're all broken and no, no longer around. Now they made chicken stews in these, they cooked greens, they cooked pintos, you name it. They cooked it in there. I'm gonna date this probably around the late 1800s, say 1888 to 1890, somewhere in that area. And the, the lion's heads on it are awesome. They are gnawing on, or chewing on, if you will, a solid brass ring to pick it up with. This thing weighs probably about 20 pounds, and I'm gonna say it's uh, eight gallon, five or eight gallon, something like that. Might be 10 gallon, I don't know, but. It's somewhere close to that, but that's a real neat little piece around 1860s to 1890s, somewhere along in there. What we're looking at right here is a cool little piece. It's all metal and it's patented June the 30th, 1883. And what this did is it, it reached into hot stoves and got pie pans out because you couldn't touch them with your hands. And it was just a neat gadget somebody invented. So what they'd do is they'd reach in and get a hold of that baby, push in on this, pull it right out, and set it on the counter. Got your hot pie sitting over there, no problem. Check that out. Don't that look like a cool piece? I love the date on it. That just tells the whole story right there. It's old. Again, it's 
reach it in there, slide this forward, set it over here on the counter. I love that thing. I tell you what, my wife won't use it though. She uses pot holders. I could try to get her to use this. No. Anyway, I just love that thing, and I would I would price this at probably with the date on it in Civil War. I, I I'd price it seventy five to hundred dollars. I ain't never seen another one. Thanks. Okay, folks, what we got right here is a neat little thing. It's a pest control duster from uh, probably Civil War era, 1890, I mean, 1863, 64. And the reason I say that is because it's made out of wood. Wood was the thing they made stuff out of because the Civil War required all the metal. So that it does have metal in it, but it's for the gears and that sort of thing. What you would do with this thing is you'd fill this up on top here. It's got little compartments on it for bean dust and just all kinds of pest control stuff. And you'd put that in there and it'd leak out in different places in there. I can't show you those because I can't see them. But you turn this wheel and it will blow it out the end as you look at the end and see it coming out. Now, let me tell you, I don't know what that is in there because it was in there when I got this thing years ago. But uh, the chain and everything on it, this is the uh, thing that you can set to tighten your chain up so that it won't be loose and slip. On this side is a handle that you carry it with. And right here is where you have, they had a piece of leather that would go through that and fasten around your neck for you to put it around your neck, carry along and dust the beans. Right here you can see the original directions on this thing, but you can't read it. It's just it's got stuff all over it. I'd love to be able to read it, but I can't. But this is one of the neatest things I've ever seen, and I have three of these because I liked them so good. Isn't that thing made beautiful? I really like it. And it was a, I call it a bean duster. And uh, I'm going to say uh, if I was to sell this, I'd probably have to have $150, $175 for it because it's so rare. Folks, what we got right here is a lingerie washer from 1921. Solid copper, really made great. Check that baby out. She's looking real good and uh, it's just amazing little thing. This is the ringer that you wring the water out of whatever lingerie you're washing. We'll, I'll show you how that works. This is the agitator. And I will show you how the agitator works. And uh, I'm gonna stand up now and open it up. First of all, I wanna show you that the ringer is a horseshoe brand ringer made in New York. Now, with that being said, you just turn these little knobs that locks it down. You have to have your ringer a certain way to open up. Look at the copper agitator, solid copper. And you see down in there, the little pieces of wood that also helps agitate. You close it up when you put your water in. And this, this is how you agitate it. Just like this right here. Let me do it one more time, sorry. Now, there's your agitator. Now we're gonna put a little water in it. And we'll show you how it works. It's awful neat. Just wait and see. All right, there she is. Get my water jug up here. Notice that white house vinegar jug I'm pouring that water out of. Can't beat them babies. All right, we're gonna pour some water in there. Won't take but a minute. I love this thing because it's so old and it's solid copper and made out of wood and I mean, you just, you just can't beat little things like this. All right, we'll drop this real dirty rag in there, folks. See the size of that baby? Dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in there. Close her up. And then this is the way you do it. You agitate it. You'd have more water in it, actually, uh, than what we got in there now, but this is just a demonstration. So agitate it up real good. Then you open it up, pull out your lingerie whatever it might be and you run it through the ringer here i'm going to turn it around a little bit where i can get a hold of the handle run it through the ringer here and be careful not to put your finger in there now see that see down here the water dripping out of it back into the pan how awesome is that 
I'm gonna tell you what, they made stuff good back in 1921. I love this old stuff and I never get tired of looking at it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that this would probably sell today for maybe $200 because of the copper and all that in it. So I really like this thing. And so if you find any under $200, latch on to them. Thanks. Folks, thanks for watching Antique Demonstrations. And don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe.